Hey folks, Saito here and welcome back to another 2S videos. For today's videos, I'm going to break down two different set effects which include Salt and Valenta, as well as providing you guys more in-depth analysis of which sets are better for your class build. Anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the updated versions of the Salt and Valenta set effect. Onto my left is going to be the Salt set effect and onto my right is going to be Valenta set effect. So starting off with the soul set effect, your character is going to get at least 140 strength, 140 intelligence with 3 set effect, 80 cons from 4 set effects, and a raw pistol and magic attack from 5 set effects. Now for the 6 set effect, you are going to get a skill called Rotor Souls, which increases your damage output by 150% for 7 seconds, and you're also getting a skill effect that does damage around 10,660%. It has 30 area attack ratio with 20 second cooldown. Now with the plus 3 birds of steels, you are going to get a dragon strength level 1 which increases the duration of the damage bonus by 3 seconds. On to the Valenta side effects, you are going to get 140 strength, 140 intelligence, 80 cons, and raw physical and magic attack by 580. So technically it's going to be the same as such side effect, but the 6th set is going to give you Valenta's offering. What it does is give you a passive effect increase your damage by 50%, and you also recover your HP by 20% of the HP recovery rate when attacking with a specific attack like Slash, Strikes, and Pierce. However, if you're not using the Slash, Strikes, or Pierce attack skills, you are going to recovery 10% of HP recovery rate for any other type of property or attack. This also includes the basic attack as well. But with the plus 3 word of seal, you are going to get 75% more damage with Dragon Strength level 1. So technically, you are getting half bonuses compared to souls with a permanent uptime like the attacker set effect. Now, the question is, which one is better? The soul set effect provides your character with additional raw status and attack while offering an extra skill that does LA damage, boosts your character damage by 150%, but also stun the target as well. The damage buff has 20 second cooldown with 10 second duration, 10 second downtime to make it short. If we take a few steps back and look into the smuggled set effects, it has 50 second durations with plus 3 border seal and 100 second cooldown. Technically, 50 second downtimes. Now, if we multiply the number of soft set effect that you use, it's balanced out. You are going to get 50 durations with 100 second cooldown time, the same way as the smuggled set effects, but with better damage rotation and damage buff optimization. So any classes with mid up to high cooldowns or does not have a lot of ability are much likely benefit from the soft set effects because your catcher is more likely to use the soft set effect first for the damage and the damage buff while rolling in the high cooldown ability. Some other class example that I can think of is either Crusader skills like Sacred, Condemned, Protection of the Goddess, and Retaliation, or Inquisitor skills like Breaking Wheels and Reaper. Some of these skills are either 25 second cooldown or the buffs or at least 40 seconds. Now, for the Balinta set effects, all the raw status are identical to the soul set effects except for the passive activation, which is Balinta offering. This is a passive effect that applies extra 50% damage bonuses or 75% damage bonus with plus 3 rewards of seal, as well as providing healing effects based on your character HP recovery. 20% HP recovery healing based on a slash, strikes, or pure type. Technically, any physical classes with basic attack or skill activation can actually activate this, while 10% of HP recovery of all other attack property like elemental and magic. Now, the question is, which class benefits from the Balinta set effect? Well, technically, everyone can use Balintas, and class with DOT damage or damage over time ability or low scaling builds are likely to receive more benefit from the Balinta set effect. Some of the class that I know with damage over time and low scaling abilities is either Splat Doctor, Jewel, Gravex, and even Wugushi. The damage that is coming out of these classes often take more than 10 seconds to do full damage. Even for build like Plat Doctor with Incineration plus Black Destruction combos, it can take roughly 15 seconds to apply full combo damage. Not to mention that the Dual Grass ability, which has a very low scaling, around 500% up to 600% SFR with max skill attributes and max art attributes. It also takes roughly 19 seconds to do full grass damage cycle. So even if you're using Rotor Souls with 10 second downtime by having plus 3 board the seal, the amount of damage bonus can easily be replaced with Valentine permanent damage set effects. Or you're just lazy to a certain point where you prefer using passive set effects rather than having to spend the keyboard with an extra skill. Now onto the last questions, which set is better overall in general? 
The question is though, is really depending on your playstyles and your character builds. Not everyone like the soul set effects or Melinta set effects because both of them offer different playstyles. So for example, the soul set effects playstyle is more about burst compositions with higher damage outputs compared to Melinta set effects that heavily focused on constant damage output. Now, it is possible that DOT damage build utilized Rotal Souls for higher damage bonus and extra AoE skill damage, while players with burst composition builds like Blossom Blader, Barbarian, Doppler prefer using Valenta Offering so they don't have to worry about their starting damage rotation skill with Rotal Souls. Additionally, the Valenta set effects might be better because of the 4% damage cap. Now, if you think back a little bit, you need either Lynch and Distance Savinos or Lynch and Glacia to apply the Souls or Valenta set effect. These two equipment offer 100% damage boost for PvE content. Distance Savinos for Channel Mode, DCP, Singularity, and Field Area, while Lynch and Glacia offer extra damage against boss in Weekly Raid Boss, Boss Co op, Raids, and more. Let's take Exorcist, Sadus, and Cushiated Bills as an example. Let's say I'm using this nice Savados equipment with Balenta set effect. My character will get 175% damage boost with plus 3 border to seal. That lead me up with 225% missing damage bonus. The Prana skill will give my character 45% magic damage. Chan with Kushida Vivora will give my character 66 magic damage bonus with the dark side effects. Gagore with Jin will give my character 66% magic damage. Using any 3 red card against Monster's Ties will give 30% damage bonus. By adding all these numbers, my character will have 207 damage bonus without having the Disc Knight Savinos equipment with Valenta set effect. But by adding the Disc Knight Savinos with Valenta set effects, I will have 382 damage bonus, which leaves me with the Legend Call option that I can use either Pantos for beast damage, Glacier for mutants, or Brutal for all bosses. But even with the Legend cards, I can rely on my party's wooden oracle to cap out my damage bonus as 400%. Valenta also synergized really well with Esprit Recovery status by the way, which you can get it from having high HP, Tantalizer as sister, Esprit Recovery hair accessory, Red Assassin's as Inker, or having a Kabbalist on the party. To make it short, you can either use Soaks or Valenta set effects for your character. If you prefer a playstyle that does not rely on extra skills but offer permanent uptime damage boost with extra healing effect, then Valenta set effect would be better for you. However, if you like a playstyle that offer higher damage boost, additional AoE skill for PvE, but also come with a stun, then this soul set effect would be much better for your character. As I mentioned before, everything will goes down to your playstyle and your character build. Anyway, that is pretty much for this video. Thank you very much for watching. This is Sadoti once again, and I will see you all in the next video. Later!